Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Today we are seeing the Nasdaq down about 1%, as you can see here. Now, I get the question all the time if some of the methods we talk about, if not all of them, are applicable for small time frames. And the answer I always give is yes, even though in my videos I don't tend to talk about the small time frame, maybe as much as I should. But I want to show you that they do work also in the small time frame. So we can see that as of yesterday, there was suspicion and frankly I did send my subscribers, my paid subscribers, premium subscribers, an alert around here when the market was trading at the highs of the day or slightly off the highs of the day. And I'll tell you why, but I'll come to that in a second. So let's go back to the break of the highs. So we're talking about this break right there. You see what happened here is the market broke down on the 30 minute. Yeah, oh, by the way, forgot to mention, we are looking at 30 minute chart. So this is just showing you that you can use the methods even on a short term basis. And we are using RSI setting of 26 just so that we can be on the same page. So we break down here, market comes off the high. Now we take that information and draw a straight line. The first thing we see is that there was rejection recently here during these highs. And of course, if you are trading this short term, you got this reason for the market to pull back here. All right. Now let's take a look at the most recent high right here as of late yesterday, I mean mid mid session yesterday or at the highs of yesterday's session and what we see here is number one the market fails to recapture back above the red line and start stalling here it never gets to the red line but the key as to why there was potential for reversal is a simple straight line connecting recent RSI highs like this So you can see once we kissed that blue line yesterday, the indication there was that the market was due for a pullback hour to hour and that's exactly what we got. Don't forget also, we got an expansion on an hourly or 30 minute to 30 minute drop here. Why? Because the NASDAQ moved its daily, uh, no, it's 30 minute RSI on the chart here below 50. As you move below 50, you tend to have some reaction of expans expansive behavior. And we can see good evidence here. You drop below 50 on the 30 minute time frame, it's good for this period here. Drop below 50, it's good for this period right there. And you can see as of today, we are dropping below 50, good for this drop here. So yes, you can use the same aspects we look for in big time frames, even on small time frames if trading small time frame is your forte eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s Mwah.